All right, guys, I got another video for you. It's for uh, another RV um, LED lights. And uh, I wanted to, um, I already did it and completed the project. So I just wanted to uh, show you what I did. I know there's a few videos of this already online and then there's some professional videos of these guys that install the lights for you, but you can do it. I, I don't know what they charge, but you can do it a whole lot cheaper. So I just wanted to show you what I did. Um, here are the lights that I bought. They are Gusador Smart LED lights. Um, and it's uh, it runs from your phone. They're Bluetooth. Um, I got on Amazon. Just look up uh, Smart LED lights and these ones will pop up. It comes with two strips. They're both 16 feet long. Um, it runs from an Apple or an iPhone. So um, there's some extra tape that comes in here. Some extra glue strips power and then the lights and then a remote which you're not going to use i mean i'm not going to use it but you could you can use this you can put it in your house you can put it anywhere but it's indoor outdoor so here's a controller that comes with it um and it runs both lights off of these plugs and then this is like the uh infrared uh, receiver for the remote which you don't need because you're using bluetooth right you can change the color in the demo mode and the speed from here, but you're not going to use this either because it's going to be on your RV. And you can control all that from your phone. All right. So what I did, my idea was to, which I got off of somebody else on YouTube. If I can go back and find the video, I'll give you the props that you deserve. Um, some lady on YouTube said she's going to connect it to her uh, patio light, which is right Okay, and it has a plug, it has a switch on it already. And that switch is this one right here. So I'm gonna hit this switch, it's gonna be on. And here's the light, and the light's on, right? Okay, so you got power. So all I did was I took this light off and I drilled a little tiny notch in the top. And I ran the power cord which is this one. All right, here's the power cord. So this little cord is inside of this conduit right there. All right, and I got that conduit from Home Depot. It's really cheap. Um, I think I had it in my garage or my brother had it in his garage. So I just borrowed it from his garage. So like I said, this is the adapter, all right, from 110 to 12 volt. And that's gonna, that's the plug, right? It goes in the outlet and then this gets you 12 volt. Well, I cut this side and I just left a little just in case I might need the adapter later and I kept the adapter. I might throw it away pretty soon since everything's closed up now. But if you cut this, there's two wires inside, okay? And hot in the ground, a red and a black. Those are connected to the wires inside the light all right so it's a ground and, and and a hot and that's all it is it's a 12 volt system so then i connected the, the wires behind this light and with that little notch and this is kind of like uh it's it's not all the way flush against the trailer so it gave me some room behind it so then after that i ran that wire up to here and that black wire goes from here up through this all the way along here to the controller all right so that's the controller that I just showed you but it's installed so there it is okay so from the light focus focus from the light conduit black positive and ground right to here so now you have power to the controller and then what you do with it after that is up to you. But I sealed everything as you can see with the Dicor sealer that you can get at Camping World or anywhere I think Walmart might have it. And after that, which I gotta put my awning out and I don't have room to do it, I ran an elbow here and it goes up to a little like T. There's a conduit T. Dang it, I wish I could focus better. So inside that T, I'll show you what it looks in there. Okay, so 
from that conduit up there, here's the controller, okay? So inside the conduit, I have this little controller and these two plugs and then this IR thing which I just threw in there and hit it. So these two plugs are plugged into the lights. And you can see there's the male part of focus, there's the male part, and then here's the female part. And all I did was electrical tape them together so they wouldn't come apart. So inside this triangle right here under my awning is those plugs and then I had run the LED strip right out of there and on this side move out of my way the same thing all right and then I just squirted like a ton of sealer in there to seal the hole so no water gets in and now I have two LED pieces running um, on underneath my awning that kind of look like one except for the separation I have right here um, And it doesn't look too bad. I wish I had another picture of it. I'll try to get a picture of it. Hold on All right, this is what it looks like sitting outside of my Awning it's even a little bit in the Sun. It doesn't look too bad I mean I had a friend ask me who did that for me like it was professionally done, but it wasn't. I just kind of sealed everything because I didn't want any water getting in there or behind there. And it's really outside the trailer still, so even if water does get in there, it's not going to hurt anything um, except the electrical part, which you don't want it running down into this light. So I kind of sealed this section up really good. Um, but that would be the only harm that I think it would, it would cause. So I'll post a video that I have somewhere and then some pictures of the lights. Um, and that's not all I did. I'll show you the rest. Hold on. All right, I thought to myself, why not add another one of those LED light strips? It's only 25 bucks. I mean, how easy is that? So I ordered another set and I connected it to my light um, on right here. So here's my steps and there's a light. Boom, I need a power source and there it is. So that light still comes on um, compared to this light up here that you can shut off and just have your LEDs only on, right? Well, the one down here, it stays on because it doesn't have a switch and I don't feel like putting one and it kind of just lights up the stairs, which is cool. And the LED lights, I did the same exact thing. So in this little piece of frame right here, okay, there's a piece of tubing here, it goes all the way down. I'll show it to you in a couple seconds. I put everything inside of here, okay? The controller's in there. The power source is behind this beam so you can't see it and I'll show it to you in a couple seconds let me climb under there and show you but I put the power in here the controller in here and the plugs taped up like I did above in here and everything's kind of sealed from the dirt because this is the front of the trailer so I'm assuming it's gonna get a ton of dirt and everything and water if it's raining right into that area where the controller is so I sealed it as best I could with some electrical tape and I hope it holds we'll have to keep checking it but let me show you what it looks like underneath hold on okay here's power source from the light that comes from the trailer which is down here it goes through this hole to here this goes across through this beam right here and then the light is over here in this section somewhere okay so I clipped on a hot right here, taped it up. I put some, um, some you know, wire covering on it. I didn't tape the whole thing, but I tried to seal it as best I could. It's just dirt. So I ran that through the same hole they made here for this hose, which is the gas hose for the generator. It comes out the other side. Here's the power cord. It goes right into that tubing conduit that I told you about, right? So from there. Uh, out comes the LED lights okay so this end has the plug so this section goes to the front all the way to the front 16 feet long remember and I had to cut it it wasn't even 16 feet my trailer is a 33 foot trailer so it goes 16 to 16 would be 32 but it still didn't reach because I didn't exactly go to the front of the trailer and here's the back and the back goes way as far as it can go to the back all right so now i have 
lights underneath most of the trailer and I'll show you a quick video of what it looks like and some pictures but this is how I kind of did it and I, I know I should have videoed while I was doing it but that didn't happen so all I did was I used adhesive cleaner on the bottom of the frame right here and I just sprayed it and I cleaned it with a towel made sure it dry and then before I pulled the backing of this tape right here I just cleaned it again one more time um, just to get a clean surface on that 3m tape but this stuff's sticky like it's perfect on this metal I think it'll stick to anything tell you the truth but so this tubing I have goes through all the springs here here let me zoom in this way so I just went underneath the welds in between the welds all the way down there all the way down there and all the way to the end and as far as this tubing would go which is back to the fuel station then it ends there and then I just cut it so it goes a long ways um, underneath this only problem I have here is these springs move so this spring here could go up and hit up above over here this little round spring can hit the LED light so I'm hoping to avoid that and not have any issues but for the price at 25 bucks I'm willing to gamble on that And this is blue, so even if I put white, it'll be even brighter. All right, that's the video um, for the install on the LED strip lights on your toy haulers or your travel trailers or your motorhomes. My brother, I think he did one on his um, on his Fleetwood motorhome and it came out just as good. And he has the electrical awning, so he just tapped into his electrical on um, the side where his power is. Um, but I, I mean, I'm not in these exact lights. You can buy any any lights you want. I just like these ones because they have the covering. They're waterproof and they have like a silicone over it. So they're indoor, outdoor, and they're pretty protected. And uh, I don't know when I plug them in. I mean, these things are pretty bright. They go through a bunch of different colors and they do all kinds of different things. Um, I think that's it. If you have any questions or any comments, sorry, it's kind of dark right here. If you have any questions or any comments, uh, put them down below. If you like the video, hit the like you can subscribe i don't put up too many videos but i'm trying to get some more stuff in i know i already installed this one and i wish i would have done it during the time i was installing but it didn't really happen so uh maybe next time or the next project i'll i'll do it while i'm installing i don't have too much time but we'll figure it out all right you guys have a good one see ya